As NBC's most watched scripted series, Chicago Fire has remained a beloved primetime program over its 12-year run. As a result, some of the show's actors have skyrocketed in popularity, bumping up their salaries and net worths up year after year. From longtime cast members like Taylor Kinney and David Eigenberg to more recent stars like Hanako Greensmith and Daniel Kyrie, let's see which Chicago Fire cast members are worth the most and the least on Dick Wolf's successful procedural drama. Joe Minoso is best known for his role as Joe Cruz in Chicago Fire, earning him a net worth of about $250,000. The Chicago-based actor worked extensively in theater before venturing into TV and film work. Ready to go. <laughs> Ready. Okay, but I take this very seriously. By all means. All right, kids! The 27-year-old actress, who has portrayed paramedic Violet Mikami in Chicago Fire since season 8, is worth approximately $500,000. Greensmith has also appeared in Chicago PD, Chicago Med, and FBI. Let's get the structure. That crunch means there's an air pocket in the right ventricle. The wire must have lacerated the pulmonary artery. If the air passes back into the lung, it could kill her instantly. We need to turn her onto her left side. Daniel Kyrie currently stars as Darren Ritter in Chicago Fire and is to be worth $600,000. The 29-year-old actor has portrayed Ritter since season seven in 2018. Other notable roles for Kyrie include Night's End, Killing Eleanor, Acting for a Cause, The Thing About Harry, and more. You, you can't tell me you know who's got it and then just walk out of here. I'm no snitch. Yeah, but here's the thing, Marco. A firefighter is going to end up taking a hit for this. One of the guys that helped save your classmates. Are you okay with that? I know it's not always easy to do the right thing, but you're not a coward. Kara Kilmer joined Chicago Fire as Sylvie Brett in season three. With a net worth of $1.5 million, she has appeared in all of the One Chicago shows, including PD, Med and Justice, as well as TV and films like Sleeper, Special Skills, Beyond the Mask, Jane by Designs, and Scary Tales. You push the epi. I'll set the AED in manual mode. Copy. All right, everybody back up. I'm gonna give him a shock. Clear. Tied with Kilmer is her Chicago Fire co-star, Miranda Ray Mayo. The actress is to be worth about $1.5 million. Miranda has appeared in a range of TV and film projects, including the soap opera, Days of Our Lives, The Game, Pretty Little Liars, True Detective, Blood and Oil, We Are Your Friends, The Girl in the Photographs, and more. Miranda first moved to Los Angeles to be a singer-songwriter. It was really nice to see him. I'm just I'm not sure if... Do not kiss him. You will deeply, deeply regret it. Alberto Rosende joined the cast of Chicago Fire in season eight as Blake Gallo. The 31-year-old actor has a net worth of $2 million. In addition to playing Gallo, he's best known for his role as Simon Lewis in Shadowhunters, the mortal instruments and guest starring in Chicago PD and Law and & Order, SVU. I can get to them, Captain, but uh, you might not like how. The victim. She's unconscious. We know Christian Stolte as Mouch, one of the last original firefighters in Chicago Fire. The actor has a net worth of about $4 million. 
In addition to Chicago Fire, he starred in The Unseen, Rainbow's End, Special Skills, Boy Band, Prison Break, ER, Law Abiding Citizen, The Nightmare on Elm Street, and more. Randall McHolland, your actions exemplify the kind of courage and selfless service to others. I commend you for your dedication, your service, and your valor. David Eigenberg, who plays the beloved veteran firefighter Christopher Herman in Chicago Fire, is worth in $6 million. The actor is also best known for portraying Steve Brady in seasons one and two of HBO's Sex and the City revival, and just like that. Eigenberg also played Steve, Miranda, Cynthia Nixon's love interest on seasons two to six of Sex and the City and the franchise's two movies. He's also appeared in dozens of TV shows and films, including NCIS, Cold Case, ER, Criminal Minds, Private Practice, Castle Law and Order, SVU, and much more. The whole point of America is that I have the right to protest. You are a Herman before you are an American. Hermans do not defile the sacred things which I hold most dear in my heart, like love of country, love of freedom, and love of all the things in history books which tell us that this is the greatest country on earth. The British actor has a net worth of $6 million. Walker is also an OG cast member who has starred in Chicago Fire since its inception. The actor began his professional career in musicals before appearing in UK TV shows like Dempsey and Make Peace, Dramarama, and In Sickness and In Health. In addition to Chicago Fire, he also gained notoriety from the show Oz and the British show Inspector George Gently. Do you recognize me? Um, I'm, I'm sorry, no, I don't. Twelve years ago today, I was left on the doorstep of this firehouse. He said you were the fireman who found me. I always wonder what happened to you. Jesse Spencer, best known for playing Matthew Casey on the series from 2012 until his exit in 2021, has a net worth of around $8 million. Prior to Chicago Fire, Spencer was cast in two long-running series, the Australian soap opera Neighbors and the Fox Medical Showhouse, starring alongside Hugh Laurie. Even after you knew I was on scene, and you knew you were already on my hit list, you put his life ahead of your career. All of Truck 81 did. Spoken like a true leader, which is why I've recommended you for a meritorious promotion. Taylor Kinney, who has portrayed Kelly Severide since 2012, also has a net worth to be around $8 million. In addition to Chicago Fire, Taylor Kinney has appeared in a variety of film and TV shows, including Zero Dark Thirty, Shameless, The Vampire Diaries, The Other Woman, and Chicago Fire's two spin-off shows, Chicago PD and Chicago Med. It was reported that Taylor Kinney makes about $24,000 per episode of Chicago Fire, although this number is not verified. If this is true, it means that Taylor Kinney is likely the highest paid actor in Chicago Fire after Jesse Spencer's exit in 2021. Yo. Thank you. Thank you so much. 